Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this morning, let us talk about this report from TechMark. So TechMark says it's 9 p.m. in Harare at Market Square in 2024, 44 years after independence. These mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters who sleep in the streets as they queue for national IDs. It's a daily thing. And uh, we are told only a few of these will be saved tomorrow from 9 a.m. because there is no capacity to issue enough plastic IDs. So this is the report which we need to take a look on and understand what is really happening in the politics of the Republic of Zimbabwe. So let us take a look onto the pictures posted here. So it's very important for us to note that an ID is one of the most important documents any citizens would need or want at any given time. So if your one is to queue or to sleep in a queue for him or her to get an ID, that is problematic. That is the most essential service any government should provide to its citizens. It's either you get your ID stolen or you lose it somewhere, somehow, and uh, you, 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 you need to replace it. Or you don't even have it, but you need it. Maybe you have kids and you need to make sure that you have death certificates for those kids. All those issues, you see that um, it becomes a problem when the government fails to do its part or to perform its functions. So what is at stake right now is that you need to get a job and an ID is needed, an original ID is needed. It means you will not be able to get that job because the government will only issue a few with uh, those these IDs. It means somebody might lose a job simply because he has failed to secure an ID. Just imagine that you want to enroll into a particular school. You need that original ID or as well to, for you to be able to enroll. It means it's most likely that you're not going to be able to enroll or something else will have to happen. Simply, simply because you don't have an ID. Let us talk about students who are supposed to register to write examinations, that is Form 4. Uh, they also need IDs. It's, it, it is going to be very difficult for these kids to be able to write their exams without IDs. And this is the registration process we are in. Um, I do not know when it is going to start or commence, but very soon we are likely going to see these students needing to commence their studies, uh, to, to, to uh, their registration. What it means is they will be inconvenienced because of the lack of IDs. So I hope and believe that the government is going to do something, is going to work something out because this is a necessity. This is something somebody cannot live without. So above everything and above all, the government of Zimbabwe has proven to be catastrophic to the lives of our people. You cannot fail to give IDs that cannot be justified. So you will hear that there is no plastic paper material. The major reason is why? We have used so much money in the uh, by elections, which were unnecessary, which were caused by power struggles, which are unnecessary. Yet we don't have enough material for the plastics for us to be able to make sure that each and every person gets an ID timelessly. So I do not know what you think about this report from TechMark, but. I hope and believe that the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe is going to intervene and do something and make sure that these materials are always available. Make sure that the people always do have the necessary needed documents. So a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot is happening.
but uh, we'll continue to watch and see what is it, what, 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 how the government is going to resolve this.